Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello and welcome to That's English. Hello. Our topic for today is manners, educación, modales. We asked some British people this question. What do you think is bad manners? Listen carefully. Do you agree with them? I find it bad manners when people don't do what they said they were going to do. I think it's very bad manners to interrupt somebody and it's bad manners to be impolite. I think people should always be friendly. You should never be rude to older people. I think that's bad manners. Um, swearing in public, I think, is very bad manners. I think the British have a reputation for being polite, but I'm not sure whether that's really true. Bad manners are not being aware of the other person. Ah. Now, that's an interesting thought, isn't it? La mala educación consiste en no tomar en consideración a los demás. I think the next man has an important point. I think bad manners is all a question of context. It depends where you are, it depends what country you're in, and even how old you are. Do you know, for example, that in Japan, it's bad manners to blow your nose in public, but in Britain, we do it all the time. Yes, different countries have different manners. But in Britain, everybody agrees about one thing. What is it? Let's see. What are the two expressions that you must always use? People just don't say thank you enough. I hate it when people don't say please and thank you. I say please and thank you. Why shouldn't they? Please and thank you. The British say those words all the time. And now... How to be British. Saying please. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Yes what? Yes, I would like a cup of tea. <laughs> no. No. But you asked me. No, this is important. When I say, would you like a cup of tea, you mustn't say, yes. No. Oh. But I want a cup of tea. Yes, I know. But you shouldn't say, yes. Why not? What should I say? Look, you ask me. Go on. Ask me, would you like... Would you like a cup of tea? Yes. Please. Ah, yes, please. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> please. <laughs> well, go on, then. Go on what? Go on, please. Go on what? Please. Get me a cup of tea, please. You've just asked me. I asked you. What did I ask you? Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, please. I'd love one, please. Please, please, please. You can't say it too often. Please. another common expression. You're supposed to say please. You're supposed to means the same as you should. You're supposed to say thank you. You're supposed to be polite. Now, here's some advice from the 1950s. As you watch, look out for the answer to this question. What is Bill supposed to do? Es lo que se espera que haga Bill. Hello, Bill. How are 
tell you. Okay, I guess. Bill, aren't you going to learn? You're being very rude to Martha's mother. She thinks you're very impolite. Look at you sprawled out in that chair. You're supposed to rise when an adult speaks to you. Everybody knows that. Now, let's back up and try it again. And see if you can be polite. Oh, come on, Bill, sit up. That's a chair, not a bed. That's better. Watch it now, here she comes. Well, hello, Bill, how are you? Fine, thanks. I didn't expect to see you in costume. <laughs> That's pretty clever. Well, thank you. You did pretty well yourself. Oh, thanks. You like it? I certainly do. There's Ellen. I want to see her. Have fun. Well, now, wasn't that better? Look at the effect of a little politeness. You've had a very pleasant talk with Martha's mother. Oh, she seemed friendlier than usual. That's because you were friendly and courteous. Courteous means the same as polite. Did you hear supposed to? What's Bill supposed to do? What should Bill do? You're supposed to rise when an adult speaks to you. You're supposed to rise when an adult speaks to you. Very good advice. And now we're going back to the 1890s. It's time for the news. You'll hear these expressions. Equal rights. Igualdad de derechos. Equal opportunities. Igualdad de oportunidades. The vote. El voto. That's very unlikely. Es muy improbable. You'll also hear the rather old-fashioned rule. Children should be seen but not heard. En español tenemos una regla parecida, también anticuada. Los niños, ver, oír y callar. As you watch, try to answer these questions. What's the newsreader's opinion of discipline in the home? And what's the newsreader's opinion of equal rights for women? Hello. Here is the news from That's English. First, the headlines. Women demand the same rights as men. And should children be seen but not heard? A special report out today. But first, the main story. More and more women are wanting equal rights with men. Some are even asking for the vote. Over to our special correspondent, Nick Diamond, who's outside the house of Mrs. Pankhurst. Nick, what is it exactly that these women want? Well, Trevor, believe it or not, some of the women here, such as Mrs. Pankhurst, say they should have the same rights and opportunities as men. How extraordinary. Are there many of these women? Well, Trevor, there are only a few, but the numbers are growing each day. And do you think these women will succeed? <laughs> well, Trevor, I think that's very unlikely. As you know, Trevor, most women still do exactly what their husbands tell them. And what about their other demand, jobs for women? Well, Trevor, I don't think we will ever see a woman doing my job, or your job. Phew. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. And finally, a report out today says that some parents allow their children to talk at mealtimes. The report also says that fewer children are calling their father Sir, or by the proper Latin title, Pater. Isn't discipline in the home getting worse? Yes, I'm afraid it is. That's all from me until tomorrow night. Till then, good night. So, what does the newsreader think about discipline in the home? Isn't discipline in the home getting worse? Aunque tiene forma de pregunta, 
Este tipo de frases interrogativo-negativas se utiliza, entre otras cosas, para hacer una exclamación. Yes, he actually means discipline in the home is getting very much worse. Here are some more examples. Isn't it warm? A veces, este tipo de frases llevan el signo de admiración en lugar del de interrogación. Isn't it a lovely day? Aren't they beautiful? And now for our second question. What was the newsreader's opinion of equal rights for women? Some of the women here, such as Mrs. Pankhurst, say they should have the same rights and opportunities as men. How extraordinary. How extraordinary. He's surprised. In fact, he's very surprised because he thinks that equal rights for women is a ridiculous idea. If you're more surprised, your voice goes even higher. How extraordinary! But that's all we have time for today. How sad. But we'll be back soon with another program of That's English. How marvellous! Goodbye. Goodbye. See you soon.